Hi, I'm Sue and I'm a professional musician living in Milton of Campsie. And like many of my colleagues in the village, we've all got together and contributed to the Campsie Fest this year online. And uh, my job is to tell you a little bit about what it's like being a professional musician and also to get you to make your own French horn, which is one of these. Now, you'll have heard these before, I'm sure. You'll have heard them in orchestras and in film music in particular. This one, for example. Now, I'm sure it doesn't take a genius to guess which film that one's from. And the horns are used a lot in film music, but why is it like this? Look at this very strange shape. Well, it didn't always look like this. Back in the day, hundreds of years ago, it looked like this. Nothing here. Just a curl, just a hoop. And the sound is quite different too. We've got no fingers to press, no buttons to push. And instead we can just get these notes. first started and instead of having using my left hand to play I use my right hand to play by moving it in here this is called the bell and this is the hand inside as you can see I move the, the hand to make the sounds change and to make the notes move but what's really exciting is I'm going to introduce you to one of my young students and he's going to tell you exactly how to play the horn and then I'm going to tell you how to make one of these from your own garden equipment. Here's Magnus. My name is Magnus, I'm eight and I play the French horn. I've been playing since January. To make the noise, you don't need the horn and you don't blow and they'll make the noise. What you do is put your lips together, then blow, but don't have them underneath each other. Don't have them like that or that. Have them like this and then just blow like. Wow, that's incredible. It's like a little spitty sound, isn't it? It's not just blowing air, it's making a making the vibration with your lip, isn't it? And then what do you do with your mouthpiece after you've done that? Well, you just put your mouth to the mouthpiece and then you basically do what you did. Wow, and can you play a little tune on the mouthpiece for us? And are you going to play as a little tune? And what is it going to be? Pictures. Fantastic Magnus, that's from Mazorsky's Pictures and Exhibition, isn't it? Yes. And what's your ambition? What would you like to do when you're all grown up? Play Helen Raven, my favourite piece in the whole entire world. Fantastic, and is that as a professional horn player? Yes. If you had a job, where would it be? Brown Phil. 
the Berlin Film. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Magnus. And the next thing I'll be doing is teaching everybody out there how to make their own horn out of a hose pipe. Hose pipe. A hose pipe. It's going to be good. Thank you, Magnus. Hi, everybody. So Magnus has shown you exactly how we make the sound buzzing and how we blow through the metal. Now, how can you do this at home? Well, it's easy. You need a few things. You need a large length of hose pipe. It can be this long. Now this is over three meters long. Or it can be a short piece, something as small as this. Whatever you've got in the garden or whatever you can persuade your parents to buy for you. You also need a hose adapter, just as you have in the garden, or even better, is a mouthpiece like the ones we use. Like this, for instance, that Magnus showed you earlier. Now I'm going to buy a lot of these small ones like this, and I'm going to leave them in the post office for you to collect and to play with whenever you'd like to give this a go. A pair of scissors. Don't do this at home, get a parent to do that, to chop up the length of your hose to whichever size you would like it to go. Remember, small length of pipe gives you a high note and a large length of pipe will give you lots of low notes. And finally, one of these, a funnel. So how do we do this? Put your hose attachment on top, curl it round all the way around just like this now mine's a very long one because mine is going to play the same notes as the horn you heard me play earlier there we go grab some tape and hold it together then once you've done that just pop your pop your funnel in the end And blow. Remember making the, the spitty noises that you heard Magnus do. <coughs> so here we are. Here's our final finished product. This is our hose pipe horn with our three meters of hose pipe held together with the tape and the funnel on the end. And I've just popped my mouthpiece in for now. Remember, there'll be some mouthpieces for you at Milton of Campsie Post Office for the next few weeks, or you can just use the hose pipe adapter, the connector that you saw me use earlier. And how does it sound? Well, here goes, let's give it a try. <laughs> Oh.